guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be sharing my forever luxury collection at least at this point uh, when i was going through my collection to think of what bags i would include i was like oh my gosh all these bags kind of look the same as far as being neutrals I don't know, but these are all bags that I think are such staple pieces. They're classic silhouettes, bags that even if I haven't owned for too long, I will love. I do have a few accessories in here as well. And I'm sharing one bag that I've never shared on my channel before. So if you guys would like to see what bags are never ever leaving my collection, please keep watching. This is probably going to be no surprise for those of you who follow me on Instagram because I've been using it nonstop day to day. This is my Chanel medallion tote. Here is what she looks like. Such a gorgeous caviar leather piece. I purchased this uh, for Christmas this past year and you all know that I'm not a tote bag girl. This is a tote bag. I also love it. It's rather large. The only con I have really the fact that I know with continued use, the straps are going to become even more flimsy. But overall, I really love this piece and I know this is one that I would keep in my collection forever. I just see myself wearing this everywhere. Unless I'm going out at night, I really can use this bag everywhere. It's such a classic vintage item and I can't get enough of it. So my Chanel medallion tote for sure is never going anywhere. Okay, let's go with an older style bag. This is the bag that I probably get the most questions about and I'm not sure why because it's not a popular style. This is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Noé GM. And as you can see, she doesn't have too much patina. Um, I do have some wear on the base at the corners. When I purchased this bag, ooh, probably back in 2017, I wore her straight for about a year and then I gave it a rest. Honestly, because I don't work in a traditional office setting, I have no use for this bag. I did take it to work and I don't work in an office anymore. So I don't really need to carry a bag this big. If I ever have children, I will probably reach for this bag again, but it just doesn't suit my lifestyle right now. But it's nothing I would ever sell because this is such a classic piece, specifically for the history behind it. This bag was created to carry five bottles of champagne, I believe. And we love a bubbly moment. So when I learned the history and I used to always see Angelina Jolie carrying this bag with her children. This is one of the older style Louis Vuitton bags. I knew I had to have it. It is just such a classic, beautiful Louis Vuitton monogram piece and it's going nowhere. <laughs> Let's go with a bag that I have never actually carried and I included it in my spring uh, favorite bags in a reel I did on Instagram because I do want to use it some this year, but I received this bag last year for my birthday and because of the type of bag that it is, darling, I've never worn it. This is the Louis Vuitton Verni Leather Sobe Clutch and oh this bag is just so luscious. Like I said I received it for my birthday uh, and because we are still in the Porsche Panamera it seems like we're never getting out. I've had no reason to literally wear a bag this small that's a clutch. Uh, maybe this year for my birthday I'll wear it when I go out to dinner but I have lusted and longed after this piece for literally probably a decade. Once again this is a discontinued style something that was probably out in like 2008 to 2014-ish. I have always loved the Verni leather. It's just so beautiful now. It's nothing I would wear too often, obviously because it's a clutch and because it is a little delicate. I also don't like the way Verni leather looks as it ages. Sometimes it starts to get discolored, but this is in perfect condition. I love this bag. I could see myself carrying this as a fabulous 80 year old woman. I mean, I guess I'd be going to the ballet because I'm not sure where else I'd be going, but this is definitely a forever bag in my collection because first of all, it means so much to me because I received this for my birthday. Uh, my friend was watching my, I think, luxury wish list and she said, as soon as you said that you've had this bag on your wish list for years, but you haven't pulled the trigger, I knew that was the one. And oftentimes bags that I receive as gifts, I don't want to part with because they mean something to me and that's definitely the reason why I want to keep this but also because it's just like she's so like she's a stunner like if I were going out today I could wear her 
But um, yeah, she hasn't yet been out of the house, but hopefully I can change that this year. Okay, let's switch designers. My next bag is my Chanel Mini Square in the patent black. And this is what she looks like. As you can tell, I love a good patent bag. This just reminds me of a little piece of candy. I love this bag so much. I use it mostly in the spring and summer. It is a patent leather bag, but it's just so cute and fun. I wore it just recently when I went out to dinner and I can wear it crossbody. I wear it long on my shoulder. I would like to purchase another one of these, but your girl is not buying any classic Chanel flaps. They are way too expensive, so I don't think I will ever own another one unless it's gifted because she's just not gonna spend her money on that but I do love this bag so much it's such a staple it's so classic it's beautiful it's fun it just looks like a little piece of candy I love it so much and yeah never leaving my collection for sure okay let's switch designers this is a bag that I purchased at the end of last year that I also have not worn yet this is my coach and JLo collection shearling bag i believe it's called the nolita 19 and this bag just gives me all the nostalgia if you were into luxury around like 2000 to 2003 or 2005 you remember this bag in the all i have video jlo is walking down the street she has her dog she has all her coach signature pieces and she's talking about how she's leaving him because all she has <laughs> What has to go? All I have, all I have, and my life very special. The path you chose to run along. I know you're independent. You can make it on your own. Here with me. I, well, I don't remember what she was talking about, but I'm sure he cheated. And she said, I'm gone. I'm packing my coach and I'm leaving. This bag represented that era. <laughs> and that was around the time when I was really getting into luxury. I used to have plenty, plenty coach bags. When this came out, I believe last year, I had to hop on it. I found it for a great price on the coach outlet online. And I haven't worn it yet, once again, because of the Porsche Panamera. But when I can be outside, like I just started getting outside and probably... December and then it was short-lived and like I'm just starting to re-emerge like since April so uh, fall and winter all black turtleneck boots red lip I mean we are serving JLo circa early 2000s I'm here for this a bag that I would probably only wear a few times a year but one that means so much to me for the nostalgia I love anything that just represents a specific moment in time and I could never give this up ever. Okay, let's do some accessories. First, I have my Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26 in monogram. This is what she looks like. And I know everyone went into a frenzy last year because they were saying that the toiletry line was gonna be discontinued. And then one night my friend sent me pictures of the newly designed one and I'm not a fan of it so I had a scrunchie in here but this is what the interior of the older model looks like uh, I believe in the new one it's like lined in some black fabric and it has like card holders in it this is what I think happened now this is just my opinion of course I think that Louis Vuitton saw that the girls were wearing these as purses as clutches and they said oh no not with something that was 400 or 500 dollars we're gonna double the price and we're gonna give you more. We're probably gonna decrease the quality, <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. And then y'all are gonna love it even more. No freaking way. No way, I don't like it. I'm so glad I have this piece. Um, I use this for travel. So anytime I'm traveling, I use this as my toiletry bag for like uh, skincare and things like that. Love it, love it so much. I have carried it out as a clutch once, but I just feel like it's a little too long and shallow, but I do love that you can use it multifunctionally. We love a piece like that. This is never going anywhere. All of my Louis Vuitton travel pieces are staples that I'm going to pass down to, if not a daughter or son, my godchildren, because this is everything. Now my second uh, accessory piece, I don't think too many of my SLGs and accessories are like forever items because like I buy SLGs just to collect them because they're fun, not necessarily to keep them forever. But this piece is so essential. This is the Louis Vuitton Monogram Shawl. It's a wool cashmere mix. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. It has monograms, Louis Vuitton all over it. Oh, it's so comfy and sumptuous and warm. I love wearing this in the fall and the winter. I can't wait to take it on a plane whenever that's gonna be. But this is definitely one of those classic pieces that you must have if you're a Louis Vuitton lover and collector like myself. It does snag, so don't expect for it to feel and look perfect forever, but I just love it. Like wearing a camel jacket, a black tank top or a bodysuit and wrapping this around your neck, you're just so chic. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, let's switch designers. My next bag is an interesting one because so many of my friends either have this bag or have just acquired it. And every time I see them with it, I'm like, I need to bust mine out. But there's one, well, there's two big reasons why I don't use it, but it will forever be in my collection because it's such a classic piece. And you already know what it is. <laughs> it is the Lady Dior in lambskin. So here is what mine looks like. Now this is the older style that has the, um, the zippered portion. So the newer one has a flap. Hence why I don't use it a lot. Reason number one, it's so hard to get in this bag. It's a very tight opening. The zipper is very rigid. If they made the zipper to where it went to the side a little bit, like it just wasn't designed properly, which is why they redesigned it. I don't use it for that, but also, I hate that. I don't use this bag all too often. I do need to use it more because it's such a beautiful classic bag, but that jingle jangle just really gets me. But once again, this is a bag that I can see myself wearing into my 80s, going to church or something, or to the ballet, or to dinner. I love this piece so much, and to me, it is the perfect ladies bag. It's classic, it's chic, it's fabulous. I love it. Okay, we are almost done. My next bag, circling back to Louis Vuitton, is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM in Epi Leather. So this is what she looks like. Oh, I love this bag so much. When I envision a fabulous mother, career mom, but she's also like a mother to maybe two or three little kids, this is what I see her wearing. You can wear this from the office, to church, to the mall, out to dinner. I love this bag so much. I definitely want to get more Almas in my collection. I think my years of wanting the Alma PM are over because it's just way too expensive for what it is. But the Alma PM is like the perfect size for me. I also want it in monogram. Um, it has a little Louis Vuitton symbol down here. I love it, love it, love it. It's definitely not a popular piece, but that's why it's gonna be in my collection forever because it is a classic staple. My next is huge. <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50B for Bandolier. So this is what it looks like. This piece is absolutely freaking huge. I recently reviewed this luggage piece on my channel. I'll link it down below. I have wanted this luggage for decades. I've been collecting Louis Vuitton since I was probably 13. And this was always something that I wanted because it's a travel piece. It's classic. You can keep it forever. I purchased it during the Porsche Panamera in 2020. And since then, I actually have used it quite a few times. I don't think this is the bag I will be using for travel per se. I like using this for day trips, if I'm going on a photo shoot to a friend's house and I just need to carry a lot of things. It just gets so heavy that I can't see myself ever using it on a plane, but for car trips, I probably would use it. I love it, it's classic. Mine is probably vintage at this point, but I got it for under $900. And I think at the time it was retailing for $1,500. So shout out to the pre-owned market. I love it. My next bag is Chanel. And this is the Chanel Iridescent Bubble Flap in the color black in the size small. So I purchased this in 2021, I believe. And it has like a little iridescent sheen. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it. It also has ruthenium hardware. I love this bag. It's like casual. I've worn it out to eat. I wear it to the grocery store. It's pliable. This is like the Chanel bag that you can just knock around. I mean, I wouldn't like throw it on the ground or anything, but I can wear effortlessly and not worry about it getting messed up. Whereas this bag is patent leather, I have to be a little more careful. I love this one. It's definitely my favorite casual Chanel bag. I probably have like 
more than five Chanel bags, but this is my favorite because it's soft, it's pliable, it's casual. It does just have a single flap. It has a longer shoulder strap. It's meant to be carried with one single long strap. And I love it. The Chanel bubble flap, never getting rid of it. Such a great buy. Um, I will say this, and I am gonna be doing a luxury I'm not purchasing this year video, probably soon or in a few months. I am just not into the Chanel classic styles anymore. I find them to be a little boring just because they're not very interesting. Now that's not to say that I don't like them, I do. They're also just too damn expensive. And girl, who is paying $10,000 for a Chanel flap? Not I. So yeah, I'm not really into the classic flaps anymore, but something that's a little understated, a little more edgy and cool, that's definitely my vibe. Okay, and my last bag that is a forever piece is one that I've never shared on my channel before. I did share it on my Instagram. Uh, maybe a few months back when I went out to brunch with Brown Girl Lux. Shout out to her. This is the Louis Vuitton Borsico East West. So I do believe there's another one that's maybe North South, which will be more horizontal. This is what it looks like. It features the reverse monogram canvas. Uh, I love this bag so much. It has a detachable strap. This is what the top looks like. You can wear it as a clutch. You can wear it as a regular handbag. It's so fun, so unique, but also the shape is so classic. I do have one other reverse monogram bag, but it's a little more trendy. I feel like because this just looks like a classic clutch, it's more timeless. And so for that reason alone, and the fact that I love it, and the quality feels so much better than the newer Louis Vuitton canvas, I'm keeping this forever. Um, I was watching my girl, Benita, I will link her channel down below, and she said she agrees that the reverse monogram canvas is of better quality. I don't know what they're doing to this versus the original monogram canvas that they produce nowadays, but this feels more heavyweight and more durable, and I love that. But all in all, it's just so fun. So yeah, for sure, never getting rid of this. Once again, this is the Borsico East West. I believe this came out in either 2019 or 2020, and it's just so fun, I love it. So guys, those are all of my forever handbags and accessories. This was so fun. I always love going through my collection and finding bags that I love, either that I don't use enough, but still hold such a special place in my heart and in my collection. And all of these bags are for sure staples because they're classic. So let me know what are some of your forever bags in your collection. Do you have some of the same bags I have? I love you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.